And we're back live at the Farmer's Market, the Bill Yonka Show, AM 1320, WKAN. We've got lots of things happening down here at the Farmer's Market this morning. <laughs> it's a very busy morning. The, the Zanta Empowerment Walk is here. Uh, the Shreffler family is here collecting cell phones for soldiers, a great program. We talked to um, Amy about that earlier in the week. Hopefully we, uh, we'll talk to her in a little while here about that program. And, um, hey, it is now time for... Uh, Another episode of Low Key Theater. Hey, welcome back to our award nominated feature, a Low Key Theater. Real stories of Midwestern people told in a Midwestern way. Today's drama brings us once again to the modest home of Bud and Ethel Gustav in East Podunk, Illinois. We find them in their Midwest in their Midwest modern kitchen. They're expecting the arrival any minute, but now of now Bud's long lost brother, Earl Spider Gustav. They have just seen each other once in over twenty years. And Ethel is just dying to find out the answers to many questions she has about the mysterious spider. Let's listen. Bud, you just have to ask him. Ask him what? Why he left town in the first place, the scandal with his girlfriend, the robbery. What happened to his second wife? Where he's been all these years? That red-headed boy who looks just like him that works at the, ja uh, the Jiffy Lube. The rumors about the mob, his connection with Blagojevich. This may be your one and only chance to find out about him. You know, I hate to intrude like that. Sounds like uh, you would waterboard him if you could. Well, it would end a lot of gossip if you could just get some answers. End it or start a whole new round. You know, small-town gossip doesn't require any facts to keep going. Oh, just try. Knock, knock. There he is now. Answer the door. Why don't I let the butler do it? Quit clowning around and get to the door. Okay, I'm going. Earl, bud, come on in and sit down. Don't mind if I do. I'm kind of stove up from driving so far. Where'd you drive from? Uh, you remember Ethel, my better half. Is that a rental car? No, that's mine. Ford Escape. What kind of mileage you get on that? I got over 28 on the way here. Four cylinder, huh? Yeah, that's enough power for an old guy, especially with these gas prices. Yeah, the oil company's got us by the short hairs. Oh, that's the truth. Earl, would you like some like a drink? I just made some lemonade, and I have some bar cookies I just made last night. Sounds good. I'll go get them. So uh, you're doing all right, then? Like the one-legged man said, I can't kick. Is that escape to XL or XLT? XLT. It's pretty well equipped for the money. How many miles you got on it? Oh, just about 33,000 now. You remember old Buzz Sawyer he used to live next to us down there on Front Street? He claimed to have over 300,000 on that old Ford pickup of his. Could be. Bud, could you come in and help me? Must be some heavy bar cookies. I'll be right back. Okay. What do you need? You're about the worst I've ever seen at finding anything out. Why don't you ask him any pertinent questions? No, you waste time on gas mileage. Well, 28 is pretty good for a vehicle that size. Yeah, yeah that's just great. Now carry these in there and try to find out something. Okay. Here's some lemonade, Earl. And Bud's got the bar cookies there. I hope you're not diabetic. They are rich. No, I'm good for a couple cookies yet. You planning to drop in on Sister Sue on this trip? Yeah, I called her place last night and told her I'd be there for supper today. I was going to continue on up to Chicago to catch a Cub game, but they're so lousy this year, I'm going to skip it. Well, they are better than when we were kids, but for the money they're paying these guys, they should perform a whole lot better. Pinella and the front office don't look too smart either. You know, the pitching's not that bad, but the hitters ought to give back half their paychecks. At least half. Have you ever seen so many men left on base? Not since Little League. Well, you still have the Bears. Oh, you can have them. Well, I'll be on the sun porch if you need me. Okay. We didn't run her off with all our sports talk, did we? No, I think it's time for uh, one of her stories. As the clod turns or something, I don't watch them. I like Maury. You are the father. That cracks me up sometimes. 
and the guy is 200% sure he is not the daddy. Yeah. Right? What about the scandal, the robbery, the girlfriend, the second wife, the mob, the governor, and the red-headed guy at Jiffy Loop? Tune in next time when you'll hear Ethel say, Hello, Sue. It's Ethel. I hear your brother Spider was at your house last night. Yeah, a little disappointing. As well as, performed, uh, Julie. <laughs> Julie did a great job, our Kankakee radio hey, player. Hey, He's no a brand, brand new radio player. Oh, pressed, pressed into service. We appreciate that. Ever expanding cast. Thank you, Julie. I'm Mr. Yaka. How are you? Bill, having somebody. Are you looking for something? Yes, you are. I've got something.